Hey guys, as a PDM administrator, have you ever wondered what's up with setting the revision on a state like this? And then also what's up with setting the revision in the transitions? Then today's Q-tip is for you. So really there's two modes of setting the revision in PDM. I mean, you can track it with just the data card variable and just track it on your drawings, but PDM was designed to handle this for you. So if you're company is small and, and you're not necessarily needing to change states for approvals or uh, for notifications, then you can do just the set revision on a state. And that's where you would see, and like, take a look at this workflow, check out released, and then go to the revision numbers. If I have this set up so that I'm using numeric revision component, I'm going to increment by one, and I'm going to set the revision variable, then that's when you would do this just manually setting it on the state. But if you're wanting to use a workflow, and you're wanting to increment as your workflow, as your files transition through the workflow, then you would set them the revision during the, the transition. So in this case, in a, on a new release, we might go to a uh, uh, go to the, the revision tab, and we're going to increment by one here in the transition. So that's the automated version of it. And then on the actions, we're going to set the rev on the data card. We're going to bump it to the next revision because you're always working to the next revision. But in our case, this one's on the CAD design check. If we were to grab these two files and we, we aren't going to transition the files through the workflow, we select the files that we want to rev, click modify, and then set revision. In the dialog that populates, it's going to, if, if we have set revision selected here, and then if we have the option that's configured in the workflow, then we would see this update variable. We don't have that option set. So let's go take a look inside the workflow and see what we can do to actually uh, manually update the revision here. So let's go to CAD design check and take a look at revision numbers. Ah, we don't have revision variable set. So let's set this to revision, which is the variable on the data card. And we're going to increment it by one. So if you're automating your revisions in the workflow as the files transition through, the states really don't impact your revision. This is for if you're going to manually manage your uh, revision. So let's take a look. We're going to increment by one, set the revision variable on this state, CAD design check, click OK, save that workflow out. Always remember to save. I've had to learn that one the hard way a few times. So if we select the files, click modify, and then set revision. Now whenever the dialog populates, we have this option available. The, new, the current revision is 0, 0. The new revision is going to be 0, 1. And the data card variable is going to get updated to 0, 1. So if we wanted to update those variables, we check those, and then we say, new release at rev 01. Once you select OK, it's going to do a couple of things. It's going to update your data card variable to the new revision, but it's also going to stamp the revision in the history, which is the same thing as the ink revision. Let's take a look inside the history, click on one of the files, go to the history, and now you have revision 01. If we are wanting to automatically update the revision as we transition the files through the workflow, then we would set it up so that whenever we have an initial state, we would go to begin workflow, and then here we would do some kind of a, a set revision variable just on the data card. We would set the rev to next revision. We would want to make sure that each of our states in the workflow that are going to have these revisions tracked are going to have the same revision, revision numbers. So each of these have revision numbers numeric, revision numbers, uh, numeric, so on and so forth. And then in the transitions, we would then, that's where we would actually take this, we would reset to, to 1, which is the first counter in the list, and it sets it to 0, 0, and then updates it on the data card. As we transition through this workflow into the release state, during release, this is where the magic happens. We're not incrementing or resetting during the release process, but during the actions over here, what we're doing is we are doing the ink revision. That's the stamping portion and taking the next official revision counter that's been set by these numbers. So hopefully that clears up a little bit about uh, the revisions and whether you're going to use manual revisions on the states or automatic revisions in the transitions. Believe in the queue.